Want to learn how to do some advanced finishing moves, some Kyrie Irving finishing moves, some Steph Curry finishing moves, some crazy finishing moves? Today I got you covered with some advanced layups. What's up guys, Jesse Minshew with Get Handled. Make sure you stay tuned to this entire video because I'm going to show you five different ways to make some crazy finishes around the rim that are going to make you pretty much unstoppable. And on top of that, at the very end of the video, I'm going to have a workout for you that's going to help you increase your scoring by a bunch. First one I'm going to give you, it's a little bit more common. The ones I'm going to give you after this are a little bit more unique. So the first one though is going to be any type of a pump fake in the air and then finishing. You can mix this up a ton of different ways. You can pump fake with two hands and go, you know, to one hand. You can go from left or right from one hand to the other. You can do like what's kind of popular right now, the jelly layup where you, you know, kind of cock it back, come under. A bunch of different ways you can do it, but you can also do it, which has been around for a while, which is more like the reverse. So you can fake with one hand, come to the other on the other side, or come this way and come to the other side. You can even do it faking here when you're up from a little further to get your defender to jump and then kind of come under and finish over here. One key tip though for all of these that I think you're gonna find helpful, especially the ones where you're doing like more of a reverse or a scoop to kind of come more to the side, is putting some spin on the ball. And what that's gonna allow you to do is hit the backboard more on the side and then have it come pull across the backboard into the hoop. That's gonna throw defenders off because they're gonna you know, expect you to typically try to finish right inside that square. Well, if you could try to finish hitting the backboard out there, that's gonna throw their positioning off and where they're expecting to see the basketball go. But the idea again is to kind of finish somewhere where they don't expect and also throw their timing off by giving them that pump fake in the air. This next finish is pretty unique and unusual. Something I came up with, I'm not gonna say I'm the only person that's ever done it, but it's something I definitely worked on to help get my shot off over bigger players. Bigger players are gonna wait to time your shot, right? So I thought to myself, well, they're gonna kind of time you going one, two steps. So what if we get rid of that second step and just one step? And that's what this move is called, the one step layup. I do this a lot of different ways. I'll do it even from 10, 15 feet out, more as a floater kinda, or I'll even kind of do it closer to the hoop. Come here and just, go right up into the shot before taking that second step. Again, to throw their timing off, get the shot off a little bit quicker. Left hand, left foot, jump. No second step. It's gonna feel really awkward and weird to try to get it down, so you might wanna practice it a little bit. The main key I can give you to get it down is just work on doing it slow. So maybe just stand next to the basket, dribble, jump, shoot. And that's pretty much it. And then gradually work on doing it quicker. And then from there, you can work on doing it kind of further out from the hoop. Give it a try, it's kind of crazy. The goofy hand finish. This is one that can definitely be beneficial to you, but don't do it as a crutch. And what I mean by that is a lot of players aren't really comfortable finishing with both hands. If you're a left-handed player, maybe you'll be on the right side of the hoop. I'm a lefty and sometimes, and I'll even catch myself doing this sometimes, on the right hand of the side of the hoop, finishing with that left hand just because I'm, I'm not being smart about it. The reason you might want to do this is let's say I have a defender right here. In that instance, I don't want to finish with my left hand because that's making it easier for him to get to the ball. If I have this hand with the ball, now I have protection on this side or Another scenario would be if you have a defender kind of trailing you on your back hip here and he's a little bit more to the side. Again, you don't probably want to finish with this hand. Maybe you'd want to finish with this hand. Or if your body's positioned in a way where this hand's already close to the hoop and you need to get the shot off quicker. Again, another situation where you might want to use that goofy hand. One other thing to keep in mind with these goofy hand layups is they can be applied to, to using them in reverse. Left hand, I could fake the shot and reverse. Right hand could be reverse on the left side. The reason you would want to do that is, let's say maybe there's a defender here, you can shield them here while going up for that reverse shot. Hey, if you're digging the move so far, make sure you hit that like button for me. Okay, we talk goofy hand, let's talk goofy foot. In a lot of ways, this is gonna be kind of similar to the one step, because you're gonna be jumping off the foot that you normally wouldn't for your layup. So normally, you know, if you're gonna go for a left hand layup, you go left, right, left arm in the air, left foot in the air, right, when you jump. The two step goofy foot would be basically going right, left. Now, why would you want to do this? You would maybe want to do that if you have a defender here. This light can be used to shield them to protect the basketball. The other situation though you might want to use this is to try to get to the rim quicker. You're in a situation where you're picking the basketball up and you know you got to get your shot off quick. If you have to slow down to go into the left, right, and that gives your defender time to get back in front of you, what's the point, right? Why get the right steps for the layup only to get your shot blocked? It doesn't make any sense. The idea is to put the ball in the hole, not worry too much about making sure you're taking the right steps. Now that being said, make sure you can do your layups the right way as well. Don't do it again as a crutch because you can't do it the right way. But there's certain situations, if I got a defender here and the quickest way to go up to that layup is right, left, I'm gonna go right left. Don't be afraid to you know, use that kind of a step when the situation calls for it in games. This is something you're gonna wanna practice. Like everything in this tutorial, you're gonna wanna make sure you're working on it, getting repetitions in, so when game time comes and you do have to break out these sorts of things, that you could do it. Make sure you're doing them left side and right side. I had to give you something kinda extra crazy. It's the fake reverse 
180. You don't want to use it as just to show off unless you're in pickup game and you're just having a good time, but you know, your coach might not like this finish unless the situation really calls for it. You're going to fake like you're going to reverse. So you want to kind of take off a little bit closer to the hoop. So you make your defender think that you're about to come finish this way. The way my body's positioned right now, it would be really hard for me to try to finish on this side, which is why we're going to spin in air. So now that gives me the ability to extend to this side more and finish. The idea behind it is kind of like the ones we talked about before where you give a fake in the air and then you would finish where they don't expect you to finish. The setup typically what you would want to do is you want to either fake with both hands or one hand and then act like you're going to come here by kind of bringing the ball here to the side like you're about to come across as you're turning in air and then come back to this side. Typically you're going to want to do this so if I'm spinning and coming this way I'm on the right side of the hoop trying to finish I would want to use my right hand so I can put that spin on to get the finish to go in a little bit easier. You could do it with the left hand but it's probably going to be a little bit more tough and again if you're doing it from the other side you would want to fake it and then if I'm on this side, I want to use left hand so I can get that spin on. You can switch it up and try to work on both, but I would recommend trying to go more with whichever side you're on, finish with that hand. So left side, left hand, right side, right hand. Now the situations you'd want to use this. Number one, if you got your defender kind of timing and expecting you to jump over here and they kind of jump in front of you, that's a good situation. Or number two, when you know you're going to take some contact and you don't feel like you could take the contact and get the shot off going straight up into them, that might be a good situation to Take the contact and then turn here because that's going to give you protection over the basketball of the defenders here and the space to get the shot off because you're extending away from them. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one of these finishes was your favorite and make sure you click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad so you can catch my newest videos. The second they come out, they're going to help you get a lot better. Now, if you want a free workout to help you boost your scoring in games, make sure you click this link right here. That's going to help you really improve your scoring quickly. Just click that link, pop in your email, and I'll send that to you right away for free. Also, make sure you check out this video. You're probably going to like that one as well and make sure you check out this playlist thanks for watching stay tuned for more and get buckets today